Monsters, Inc., my favorite Pixar movie. This film is really special, and when it comes to pure creativity, Monsters, Inc. beats them all. Not only is it the best Pixar film, it's also my favorite animated movie ever. Today, this is why Monsters, Inc. is Pixar's best. The creativity that went into this movie is unmatched. We all know the concept of the monster in your closet, or the monster under the bed, but Monsters, Inc. brings that idea to life in the perfect way. It also flips the entire idea on its head, because the monsters that are scaring these children are actually just these nice characters doing their job, and the monsters are actually scared of the humans. There is nothing more toxic or deadly than a human child. This leads into why the opening of Monsters, Inc. is so phenomenal. It brings us into this crazy world in such an incredible way. The scare floor, the swinging doors, it's all so cool to see for the first time. The commercial at the beginning tells us exactly how the world works, so when we see it actually happen, we understand everything that's going on. I don't think I can emphasize enough how amazing the concept is. The scream energy that the monsters harvest from scaring kids is what powers their city. These are the kinds of ideas that make Monsters, Inc. unbeatable for me, not to mention the fantastic music that goes along with this whole opening. All of Pete Docter's Pixar films have some great scores, but Monsters, Inc. might take the prize. One of the first things I think about when I think of Monsters, Inc. is these characters. Mike and Sully are some of my favorite characters of all time. Now, Pixar is known for their great character duos. Everyone loves Woody and Buzz, Marlin and Dory, Wally and Eve, Carl and Russell, Remy and Linguini, and I'm even one of the people who really likes Lightning and Mater, but in my opinion, Mike and Sully are the best of them all. They have this perfect chemistry and they're so funny together. They're also opposites in some ways because Sully is the scarer and Mike is, well, not scary at all. Not only Mike and Sully, but there's so many more characters that are great. Boo, of course, is very entertaining, and she actually drives the plot of the entire film. Then there are the villains. Waternoose is one of the first Pixar twist villains, and he actually makes sense because he just wants to do what's best for his business. Randall is also so great as the rival to Sully, who keeps causing trouble over the course of the film. In terms of the characters, Monsters, Inc. is pretty much flawless. I also want to give a little segment of this to the comedy. There are so many clever jokes in Monsters, Inc. It might actually be one of Pixar's funniest movies. Whether it's... Okay, here I come! We're working for a better tomorrow! Or... Put that thing back where it came from, or so help me! <laughs> Monsters, Inc. is very clever in its humor. This is not the kind of Pixar film that's all about the emotion. In fact, it's the least emotional of Pete Docter's Pixar movies. But when the moments do hit, they are fantastic, especially during this ending. Over the course of the film, we see Mike and Sully grow to care more about Boo, and when we see them say goodbye, it is really well done. Then there's also the ending scene when Boo's door is rebuilt. They have the chance to reunite, and all we see is Sully's face at the end, but it's a perfect ending. Again, movies like Up have stronger moments, but Monsters, Inc. nails the moments that it does have. My final thoughts are, this is what Pixar has always done so well. Pixar has these crazy ideas like Inside Out, Ratatouille, or Coco, but they make them work so well with great stories and emotional depth. These films may look really weird at first, but the execution of it all is so intelligent, and that's what Monsters, Inc. is. It is everything good that Pixar is, elevated to the next level, and rolled into one fantastic film. Monsters, Inc. is truly Pixar's best. <laughs>